Good evening everybody, welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. This is episode number 8, my name is Kevin, I am a geek, and you are watching Kevin the Geek. So, what happened last time out? Well, I mean of course, if you missed last episode, what are you doing here? Go back and watch it, remember to subscribe to the channel, you'll see all the videos, all the playlists, everything that we've been doing but enough dilly dallying what happened last time we did lots of robberies we robbed a train we robbed a couple of uh, coaches we've done quite a bit of stuff so we earned quite a bit of money we did a little bit of upgrades so we've got a, a new sort of gun belt uh, some more uh, knives and things got a bit extra ammo and things but we're now back in valentine and we are going to be meeting i believe it's javier Oh no, sorry, John Marston. So I'm getting confused with all the J's. There's uh, quite a few people. But we've just got to find him, first of all. Are we here somewhere? There he is. Let's go and see what John wants us to do so, today. Feeling better? How's your scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you're just lazing about and you got any leads? I think the ladies are going to dig something. the long hair and the scars see there on John Marston. Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Yes, Until we, we do. We need more money. Collect. I'm here to tell you, we try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I have a feeling Where we're going to have a big shootout in uh, says a lot. in Blackwater at some That's point. All I know is there's lots of money there. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm a workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well, you was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way, well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. We can have rode there. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. Uh, I already don't uh, like We could have literally ridden there and saved quite a bit of time. Alright, yeah. oh, stay there, Peter. Gun store? Yep. Can you, uh, head in, pick up a sniper rifle? A sniper That's rifle? Right. Oh, well, hello again. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Shouldn't be a problem. You want to see what we've got? It's all in the catalog here. All right, so we want a rifle. Oh, it's going to be free. Nice. I like things that are free. Why did I have to do everything? Why can you have gone and got it, John? Ooh. Uh, let's just give you a quick brush down. Oh. There you go. You're a little bit dirty. There you go, Peter. You've had a little clean. Okay. Where are we going? Couldn't you have done that? Exactly, that's what I said. Bought that gun. Yeah. I had a run in with that fella earlier. Right. On the best of terms. You had a run in. I've had a run in with half that town. Calm I know. down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? 
Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No. What's wrong with that? Are. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl. What girl? Her name Mary? That was different. Oh, Mary Linton. No, it ain't. Yeah, it is. Just the same. Anyway, How? For the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. Oop, sorry. Just bump it into you. Ride him, ride him, ride him, ride him, ride him up, ride him up. Whoa, hide! Let's head up to the ridge up there. Get proper view. So we're gonna be shooting in there, Tex. The one thing I'll, I'll never forget is, you know, is how so gorgeous this game is. The herd will make it to auction, all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collected on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. So are we shooting the cattle or are we shooting the men? You couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. What's wrong with using the binoculars Let's then? Let's see what we can see from up here. Okay. Easy boy. Okay. I think that's them over there. The one now. Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only branch hands. Just watch ah, them. the sheep. I zoom. Looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in close. He'll get the message. Yep, that spooked him all right. There we go. Is that it? All right. Let's go round him up. Oh. So I put some shots in just to scare some people. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? Not much. Most cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard could it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. They're pretty scattered. Let's get them all rounded up. Alright, let's go up here. Ooh. Easy there. There you go. A study in festival. Hey, moving. There you go. Yep. <gasps> all right, I think we got them all. There we go. Let's head for town. You know what, Marsh? Why don't you leave the sheep to me? You ride Shank. Keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to hurt. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. Let's go. Quickest route back to Valentine is right around that mountain. Okay. What are the odds that someone's going to now attack us or something like that? All right, make sure we don't run over them. Yeah. That's it. I'll move it up. Yeah, we don't want to trample them. Oh, 
Oh, there's some leaving. Get out of here, you! I'm trying. Oh. Oh no! Don't get off! Don't get off! Yeah, I know, John. And there's the one over there. Oh no, that's you, John. You're confusing me. Hup, hup. Come on, keep going. This is quite a boring mission. <laughs> oh, we don't want to trample the sheep. Come on. Yeah, yeah. with less ambiguity about their provenance. A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you for 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks, Calm down. rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying, but we're paying. Go on mm. now. I, I mean, look, you're getting angry there. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Yeah, That's you're getting angry there, Arthur, but That's you did just steal them. I turn to John. Oh, we have to go around the other way. Going the wrong way. All right, John. Okay, there, boy. Stop, stop messing around. Sorry, John. I thought I was going to the saloon. What gives, huh? Well, get out of the way of the horse, mate. Oh, this is a saloon? Easy. Out the way, John. Let me hitch up. Well, clearly not. Not everything. But in the end, I don't believe in absolutes, just shades of grey. Hey, hey, Strauss. Compromises. Compromises. Well, I have never been a man for compromise. Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Nepo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Yeah. Because, gentlemen, drink? Sure. <clears throat> As long as you're you buying Dutch. like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago. Bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Oh, he's Austrian, not German. I okay. Dutch Actually, I suppose you didn't really have Germany at this time, British really, as such. To your good health. Thank you. Uh oh. What the hell? Told you there'd be a shootout or something. You don't know me, but you keep robbing me. Who are you when you're home? My name is Leviticus Corpus. 
Cornwall. Oh. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you. Oh dear. Get out here before I have these men killed. Damn. What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash. You start spinning a yarn. When I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. I got where I am by letting Scott Why not? Watch you rob from me. Vandalin, you're done. Now get out here now. Deal with this nonsense. Oh, he's off. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing oh, a man Arthur's for the judging everything. of another? Hope we don't have to save one of them. The Slowly me. press R2 to fill the meter. The more for the no meter, the longer you get to aim. Come on. Shoot it, bastard. That one. No, no, get behind the bloody thing. Yeah! That's how you do that! Push up! Stay with me! Let's go! Come on! Where are you going? That's right at them! We don't want oh, Mr. Brown! Stop! Stop! Ah. Arthur, cover us! Ah. I'm trying! Push the wagon. Arthur, shoot someone! I am! Okay. I'm dying. I'm dying. There you go. I'm trying. Oh, you want to come at me? None of them. This is shoot, bad. shoot. You're on the front line now, Mr. Strauss. Someone right behind us. There we go. You ready for this. You ain't this thing. Oh, someone up there. Shoot him. Oh, someone up top. Oh! I'm trying, Strauss. Okay, where where's Strauss? Where is he? Come on Strauss, get up, get up! Oh, I've got to hold it down. Come on! We want it dead or alive! Come on! I'm trying to! I know the horse is impatient. What the hell I am doing? Nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure. We can't stick around after this. Let's go. <laughs> oh, damn.
Come on, get him! Where's Mules? Peter, where are you? Peter, where are you? There you are. Ride, ride, ride! Oh! I'm trying! I'm trying! Guess we're not going back to Valentine in, uh, in a little while. Let's head up the mountain, head up the mountain, we've got to escape from the cops. Ooh, whoa, whoa, that's, whoa! Whoa! No! That was not a good idea. That was not a good idea. Ah, oh, god damn it. I should have thought about that. Literally, I went over the hill and I was like, oh crap. Oh, Peter, Peter, where are you? There you are. Yeah! Alright, ride him, ride him, ride him, ride him! Come on, get, 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 get! Come on, Peter! Come on, Peter! Ride, ride, ride like the wind! Yep. Ride the tracks, ride the tracks! We're escaping, we're escaping! Over the hills and far away They're searching for John Marston all day All right, hopefully we can slow down a little bit Easy boy. There you go, doing good Peter, you're doing good yeah. All right Riding for the hills, riding for the hills. Escape them. Oh. Oh, that's what I wanted. Where we gotta go now? Uh All right, now we're gonna go back to the Dutch. All that riding in the opposite direction, we should have just headed back towards the camp. Yep. It's me. It's me. I ain't even gonna ask where you've been. Yeah. Where have I been? I've been saving your ass, bloody John. Oh my god. We've got to move out and we've got hardly any money. We keep heading east, is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Oh, that'd be nice. Join the commune. We stop when we find someplace sensible. So, we moving? Yeah. We turned into a bunch of killers, I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. 
We don't have a choice. Where's your hat, this Dad? Did you lose soon. it? Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Micah, you listening to Micah? Freak, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charlie the dude who got himself go banged up in jail and I had to rescue him. Fine before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Nice. Charles, come with me. We got work to do. Now, where have I heard that before? Alright, uh, Peter, I'm just going to give you a quick brush down. You, you deserve a little brush. You, you've done the, quite a lot of running. You've not even had a chance to... What's the problem here? Let's go! Hey, I'm giving him all, a quick rub down, you know? And give him something to eat. He deserves it. Good boy. Are we going then? Alright, Dewberry Creek. So where's Dewberry Creek on here then? Right down here. In this area where we've already got a bounty on our heads. Spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. Fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Hold up a second. Let's ride with me. Come on. So, you were saying? Uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, killed a lot of law. Hit a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know. And I nearly died for me trouble. So we're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. Mm -hmm. You don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as running. Uh, hang on a second. I think that must be it up ahead, the old dried up creek. It seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Oop. Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. Where? A, a body. Nice. Can we loot him? Oh. Nothing like the crows having a spot of dinner. He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Yeah. The crows have definitely been out in. Mm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first, debate second. You want to shoot for the sake of it? Survival's for the sake of it. Quit talking. You started it. Alright, we might as well get our guns, because we're always going to need these, aren't we? Sure. Oh, it's got dark very quickly. Where is everybody? 
Maybe they heard us coming. Be careful. I'm being careful. Has Micah been here? Is Micah the reason it's all dead and quiet? What was that I just saw? Oh! It's okay. It's okay. You can come out of there. You okay? Damn, they're scared. You don't mean no harm. Are you okay? Ich sprechen Sie Deutsch? Oh. It's German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? Hey, no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. Hey, but they speak yours. And dense all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. I mean, they look really scared. Tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. What's going on with you? I'm glad you can see him, Joel. Charles, because I can't. Send that woman and her children on their way? We yeah, come on. Be nice. Damn. We got Pinkertons breeding down our necks. They they could be we valuable. Move in camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Whoop. Wait, just let me make sure this is right. How the hell can you spot these, Charles? I can see nothing. Okay, looks like they go down this way. So hang on, Charles, I'll be right with you. Hey, will you stop scowling and get a move on? Yeah, I'm coming. We need to get there. Come on. Yeah, all right, Charles. What happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. Think this is the right way? Give me a second. Get him, he's bloody cloud, isn't it? We were at the beach. We were at the sea? Continues along the shore here. What were you saying before? We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Bastards told me they killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Uh, Who's Mac? That kid. It's gonna be tough for him. Was oh, that his dad yeah. or something? But he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. Huh. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. If it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real young. A long while. Year him. He did? Hold up. Let me check this. It's a really bright night. Is that the sun or is that the moon? Because if that's the moon, that's a damn bright moon. They carry on along this trail. So back to what you were saying. And we was family, you know? Guess I still ain't fully forgiven them for that. Um, Charles, I can't see you. I'll tell you what. That is a bright night. Careful. 
Seems deserted. Let's take a look. This seems a better spot for a camp. Look at this, something. You know something. This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. That's what I just said. Maybe. Where is he? Where are there you? Where? Where? I can't see him. Quick. Where? Cut him free and let's get out of here. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Lizzie, round him off feet. Oh! Where are they? The gates. Okay, getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Schöner bitte. Go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Valuables. Platinum pocket watch. Nice. You know what, while I'm here, I'm going to take a hat. Alright. Come on. I'll take you back. I'm just going to have something to eat or something because I'm. Uh, I'll say not doing so well. So let's have some baked beans. Was machen wir jetzt? Also soll ich mitkommen? Well, I kind of see where I'm going. All right. That's my boy. Literally, can I see anything? There's too many trees here. So are these some uh, new people that we're going to take into uh, into the home? you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there. Why did they take you? Geld, money. My family ah. gehört eine Goldmine. A gold mining business. That uh, could come in useful. Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Uh, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Yeah. Hey, hey.
There they are. Dem Herrgott sei Dank. Schatz! Oh. Andreas! 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 Du du Beinahe wäre es so gewesen. Meine Lieblinge, mein Herz allerliebst. <lacht> oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. alles klar. Vamos. Uh, ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Nice. Guess it was a pleasure. Ja. Okay. So. You were right. Oh, oh. This place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. Hello, Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this I love how home. respectful Dutch is. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. I mean, by a lake, kind of pretty, 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 pretty a spot. Clemens Point. A few days later. You've acquired a gold ingot. It can be sold at any fence for a large profit. Nice. Okay. Okay. And that could come in quite useful because we've got a bounty on our heads right around here. Uh, this so why saying how much money we've got? Does it say a lot on here or anything? Oh, apparently Arthur's underweight. Uh, no, there's a way of saying how much money you've got. Apart from going to to a shop. Uh, no. Nope. If we go to the thing about uh, donating money, maybe that'll tell us. Morning. Morning. Ah, we've got three hundred seventeen dollars. Yeah. If this is the ammunition thing, I want to see if I can get some uh, bullets and things. Cause I'm a little bit low, I think. I did a lot of uh, shooting there. Oh, wrong thing. Wrong thing. There we go. Right. So this is where we are, by this, I don't know if it's a sea, if it's a leg or something like that. All right, so we've got a bounty over here and we've got a bounty, I think, here. So, where would we go if we want to pay it off? Uh, a long way away, I think. So, we're going to have to be careful. All right, well, let's go see Dutch. Our respectable leader. 
Damn, he's, he's getting a damn fine beard. Uh, let's, uh, where's my tent? I need to have a shave. Look at that. Look at them damn fine chops. Uh, yeah, let's let's trim. There we go. Need to have a nice shaved beard. Uh, well, chin. See if we can donate anything well, before we go speak to Dutch. Gold nugget. No, let's see if we can sell it to a fence for more money. A gold nugget and a gold ingot. Wow, 300. Nice. And a wedding ring. And actually, is there, is there anything we want to buy? Let's just take a quick look and we know how much money we need to donate. Hey. Hey. Who's talking to me? I don't know that anyone is talking to me. All right, what have we got? Um, improve the rest of the tents in camp. That would be a, a good thing. Uh, the horse station, the chicken coop, a boat, some tools. Maybe let's let's buy a chicken coop. So that's another um, seventy-five, eight, eighty-five dollars. We can we can stretch eighty-five dollars. I think we can do that. I think your hair's getting a bit long there, uh, Arthur. There we go. And then go to Ledger. And let's buy the chicken coop. Chicken coop has been purchased, increasing the quality of Pearson's stew. Nice. Means we we'll get some eggs. How do you like your eggs in the morning? I like mine in a shootout. Alright, let's go see what Dutch has got to say for himself. See how he likes our new camp and the new chicken coop. How you doing, old friend? It's funny, us in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? No, you didn't, Dutch. Tell, tell me more. Oh, you did. I was like, I'm boring you, Arthur. <laughs> Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. We're thieves. You know, a world that don't want us no more. We mm. are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We oh, okay. Say. It's nice out. Where are we going then, Dutch? He says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fish. Are you and me going fishing, Dutch? Are we literally about to go fishing? Are you going to say anything to me, Dutch, or what? Are you coming? 
Yes, I'm coming. I'm right behind you. Old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good and long, old man. <laughs> Always green crushing and bubble bursting, you. Come on, Hosea. Let's go fishing. All right, gentlemen. Let me show you how it's done. Well, like you showed us with the bear. Yep. Whoa. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Yeah. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there. Oh. There was a us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. Yeah, and I got a gold nugget out it's of it. like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. I don't, what if I said I'm not with you, no, uh, Dutch? You do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. Okay. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. Hey, how about you go tell Lenny that? Start turning over the soil and the rocks. And that's the game not to use up. weapons or cause Dutch, trouble in roads. We have got to be discreet. Okay. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Choo-choo train. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Whoa. Well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot of bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Hoagie. <laughs> this is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. Of, <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you! I, shit! I, oh, God. The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! The Anderson oh, boys? Allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy! Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train! I'm coming! Don't shoot them, you hear me? Okay. Come on, hurry! All right. Come on, we're losing them. I'm going. You relax, we're not losing them. Hurry up, David. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I'm going. I get it. I'm doing my bad. So what are these fellas wanted for? Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No, 
Did I not say that? You said Freddy. Come on, Peter, catch up. <laughs> Idiot. Now get after the others. Come on. <laughs> and he's dead to know. Go through the station. Now's our chance. Get to the side of the train. I'm going, I'm going. See the flat carriage? Head for that. Come on, Peter. Look after Peter! Come on, Martha! Get him! I'm coming for you, boys! Yoo-hoo! I'm not. Bastard. Damn bastard. Get the hell away from me. Knock him off. Come on. Oh. Hold him, Martha. I want to see you die here. Come. Get. Oh, he's down. I'm not. You hold it right there. I'm coming for you, boy. For you next. I'm gonna ride ahead and stop the train. Ha <laughs> ha! You're stuck. Come here. We need to bother. Let me go. Can't do that. Whoop. Oh, get, 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 left, left, right, left, yes, get him, get him, get him, don't let him get the knife, go on, go, 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 go on, oh shoot, yeah, he's knocked it out, go on, get, get him, get him, Arthur, go on, oh, get, round the face, uppercut, uppercut, oh, some gin, I do want some gin, there we go, that it, uh, yes, Mr. Archibald, whatever your name was. Uh, the door's locked. Oh, just about. I loot him. No. At least we got one of them. Bring him out here. Yeah, I'd maybe open it a bit more, please. It sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? Nah, it's just some random dude who wanted to oh, ride the train. Anderson. What now? You take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. Thank you, sir. On the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff. We can't put him on yours. There you go. You are a natural. Thank you. Let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's nice. really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. Who are you guys? I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Uh, any man of speaking. I wouldn't exactly say that. I'm a keeper of the peace. The area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields. Okay. This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Right. It's bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain round here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. Are they? He's been working for them for years. In a hall? The one I, I don't know, I've, I've got course, some idea of the in town. sketchiness. Town. Road, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaite. Mm, no, I can't say I do. Just got down here. Another big family in these Oop. parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. 
They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Easy. So is this roads? It's a little bit different to uh, actual roads. Welcome to Rhodes. The island. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very right. reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. Okay. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, nice station, of course. Good. Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Mm, yeah. Friend is a. Loose okay. term. We're gonna stop just ahead on the right outside the sheriff's office. Uh huh. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Just bring him here. Hey, fellas. I heard some screams. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend... Here, Damn, that's a fine touch. Is free to go, but no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, nice. we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. <laughs> come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. On the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Greys, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out of rebel gold. Oh, Mary, ooh, I like gold. Not marrying Arthur. That's Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard... About bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. Damn. Talk of super agents or some super agents. <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is. But I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Huh. Okay. Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah. I thought you didn't want to cause trouble with that. Friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these. Braithwaite's. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. Yeah, we never even went fishing, did we? I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Oh, yeah, let's go fishing. Oh, sure, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? Kinda like this place. Okay, let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Eh, with Dutch around, I think not. She spit at a John and he chucked her to death right there. Sweet bitch, too dumb for her own good. Golly, ain't that something? Hey there, boy. Everything you need to know, I got it. All right, gentlemen, follow me. Oh, someone's had a little accident there. Whew! That's some stinky shit. So how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. Oh. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. 
Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. It's a good Whatever they are when they're at home. Maybe you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Oh! Plus, we are now ingratiated. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Oh my god. Where is this spot, Hosea? Timbuktu? Are you alive there, Hosea? Anyway, you two never told me properly about that business with Cornwall in Valentine. What happened there? Apart from scaring the living daylights out of Mr. Strauss. Oh my god, that was brilliant. John and I didn't even have time to get paid for the sheep we rustled. It is safe to say Mr. Cornwall isn't a man to let bygones be bygones. Yeah, I have a feeling Levitus Cornwall is going to do some stuff. A lot of guards and what seemed like just about every long Don't get run over again, Hosea. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Years, but not that many. Nearly I got run over. found us. The Pinkertons couldn't have been far behind. They found me when I was fishing with Jack, remember? Listen, it was good we moved when we did. But that mess is behind us now. Yes. Jack told me you were a good teacher when you took him fishing. I oh, yeah, caught a good load of fish. Confused with someone else. Oi! <laughs> Very funny. So you're going back to see that sheriff, Greg? Yeah. I don't see why not. They don't know who we are down here. He For didn't now. seem the sharpest attacks. Neither did that deputy. If he thinks we can be useful to him, he can certainly be useful to us. A little hiding in plain sight. I feel like we're always hiding in plain sight. But sometimes more smartly than others. Are you taking us a long way back? This is the spot. Down to the left there. Okay. Hold. Damn us. Beautiful. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Okay. Is there a boat? Yes, over there on the shore. Aha. Uh -huh. Whoa. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. Okay, well, let's commandeer a boat. Surprising that Arthur's beard grows, but his hair All doesn't. Right. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, no. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Let me guess. Okay, Dutch is just going to sit there. We're going to do all the fishing. Can't imagine uh, Dutch is actually a man of action. Real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. And yep. See. On children. Arthur does the rowing. The deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. What about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do too. Get us a bit deeper. Okay. Go on. Row. 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 This is a little bit uh, easier rowing than uh, last night when I was with Peter in, in the uh, right. a way out. Good luck. Um, Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. Okay. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance. Oh no, Dutch is actually going to get going. Big, like a sturgeon. 
Lake Lure. Oh, Lake Lure. Ah, there we go. What's wrong with a good old worm? Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Ready. Well, it is, then. You heard the expert. Yeah. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Anytime today. You got a bite there, Arthur. You hooked him. Hey. Come on. Come on. I think that's a bite. There, hooked him. Come on. Come on, you fat bastard. Come on. He's gone, Arthur. Oh. Try again. Damn it. No, you lost him. He got away. Got a nibble there, Arthur. Now reel him in, Arthur. All right, go on. He's nearly here. Come on. <laughs> hey, I got him. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fella told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. I would like to see that. Damn it, I lost him. Hey, Jose, you remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Ah, this again? I don't think I do. Oh, yeah, you do. He was maybe 20. 21, walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast, toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, So how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. Fish on the line, Arthur. Yeah, I know. I'm coming. Come on, come on. I used to go fishing with this fella back in the day. Might be the same one. His name was. Hey! Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. But one Steel day, head trout. we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge. And out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. Anything? Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed the lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him. Uh, we well, got him. Come on, come on. I remember us saying how Blackwater was the first come on, come on, come on, come on. we've ever been. Come on, Arthur, get him, get him, get him. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east hey. we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons have patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back to Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. All right. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Really? Apparently so. 
I only found out ah, from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. No. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way. And she, me, in hers. <laughs> Somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. Just gotta reel him in now, Arthur. Yeah, I'm doing. Down, Arthur. All right, we have, we got enough yet. I've Make got three. Sure you don't forget about that and let it rot in the bag. Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. Yeah. And I'm the one who's only catch any fish. All right. I think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat. Not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just hey, sure? the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Now, Jose. Yes. <laughs> How about a song? Okay. Uh, all right, I got one for you. Uh, Any of you want to do a bit of rowing? That gal to give me some. I ask that gal to give me some. She says, wait till the taters is done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. I wish to God I'd by. Mm -hmm. I wish to God I'd by. She was a burn and so did I. That was pretty good. But you know, what song we should be singing? Row, row, row your boat. Well, look at us. Three mariners. Ha! Ah, of course! Well, We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round around around? Shall we go dance this round around around? Hey, that is a bully boy. Come pledge me on this round 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 round. We care not for martial men that do our states disdain. <laughs> But we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round around around. To them we dance this round around around. And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this ground of ground of ground of ground of ground of ground of ground. Oh, bravo! Bravo! Well, right, I thought Bishop was going to be boring, but I'll tell you what, having a bit of a she shanty is uh, pretty damn good. Alright. I think I. Well, I mean, we. are going to be okay. I know. Well, I always know. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. Well. I am going to take in the view. I'll give these fish to Pearson. You know, I am too. So I tell you what, it's a damn beautiful, beautiful setting. Can we take a photo? Oop. And look how beautiful this is. Look how beautiful it is.
Oh, wow. Well, I think this is going to be uh, another lovely camp. Um, so, it's, it's a shame to leave that camp behind. Yeah, it's the first one that we made after we moved down off the mountains. Um, but, of course, we've got to get out of there. We, you know, we've got uh, Leviticus Cornwall breathing down our necks, wanting to, well, do something to us. I don't think just killing us is uh, quite his style. I have a feeling he's going to want to do something real bad to us. And I get the feeling that's not the, the first... Uh, sorry, I get that's not the last time that we've seen old oh, Leviticus Cornwall. Uh, but we've got to learn about these... Uh, uh, was it the Greys and the Braithwaites? So maybe we're going to find out about them next time. But that's going to do it for another episode of Red Dead Redemption. Don't forget to like, comment and share the videos. Uh, obviously, I've now got a Twitter feed, uh, so don't forget to check out on Twitter, uh, Kevin uh, underscore the underscore geek. Uh, the link is on the uh, channel page. Don't forget to check all the um, all the playlists with all the games. You can see all the previous seven uh, episodes of this, if this is the first time that you are watching one of these videos. We've got plenty of the games that we're doing as well, uh, including a co-op game that I've uh, just started this week with uh, with my best friend, Peter. Who, of course, incidentally, we named our horse after in this series here. But until next time, goodbye, outlaws. <laughs>